Good morning, Monarchs. My name is Cristela Tencio. And I'm Alyssa Williams. Welcome to this week's edition of Monarch News. One of our fellow Monarchs, Alexis T, got hit by a car and she's still in ICU and we're pairing up with one.org to help. So we're going to be selling Cerritos burritos because they support our school a lot and they're willing to help give us give back with us. We're going to be down at the Gold and Maroon MV and Mr. Gordon is going to be down there and some cheerleaders going to be down and we're going to be selling Cerritos California burritos for $6 and then comes with horchata for $1. So if you can, please come out on October 7th and help support Lexi T. Hello, Monta Vista students. Miss Rad here with a reminder that this week we are starting tardy sweeps, which means you cannot be late to class or you will end up with a detention and a tardy notice. So make sure you're on time to learn and ready to learn. Thanks, Monarchs. Monarchs, guest passes for non Monta Vista students for homecoming are available at the month of October. If you want to bring someone that's not a Monta Vista student, you have to get this completed and signed off by Wednesday, October 19th. They are very easy to fill out, but your guest needs to have their assistant principal to sign and attach their business card. Give yourself plenty of time to get the form filled out. If you're bringing a date to the dance, but they are a Monta Vista student, you do not need a guest pass. Remember, prices are going to go up the closer we get to homecoming. From now until October 7th, prices are $20 with an ASB card and $25 without. From October 10th to the 14th, prices will go up $25 with an ASB card and $30 without. From October 17th to the 21st, prices are $30 with an ASB card and $35 without. But at the door, everyone is $35 with or without an ASB card regardless. As you know, we'll be having a taco truck at homecoming. One of our Monta Vista alumni, Matrix, will be bringing his taco waco truck with a variety of three different combos with the prices shown below. There will also be toasty locos, drinks, and much more tasty treats. So buy your homecoming tickets now. Now let's go to Mary for a weekly weather update. Good morning, Monarchs. Last week was super hot. But this week is going to be average San Diego weather, so make sure you stay cool, stay hydrated, and stay classy. Now back to the studio. <laughs> Campus student drivers, this one's for you. On Wednesday, October 12th, parking spot signups will be held in room S8 during second lunch. You must bring proof of receipt of payment and it's first come, first serve. On October 14th, parking spot makeups will be held. And October 16th, painting of the parking spots will be determined. Seniors, college application workshops for four year universities start next week. Remember, these applications must be submitted by November 30th. Sign up in the guidance office while you're there visiting colleges. If you have questions about FAFSA or the new FAFSA timeline, we have the answers to them. Don't miss an opportunity to save money and better your education. If you want to play a sport this winter, online clearances do not open until October 17th, but athletes should be getting their physical done if they don't already have a current one on file. The school will have physicals on campus October 25th for $20 cash. Now let's head over to Daniel and see what sports are happening this week. Good morning, Monarchs. Just as a reminder, if you're planning on playing winter sports, such as boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, or girls water polo, you need to have a current physical or make an appointment with your doctor soon. And for coaches information, you can find that on the athletic website. And these week's games are... On Wednesday, October 5th at 4 p.m., girls tennis will be playing at Helix High School against Helix High School. At 5.30 p.m., girls volleyball will be playing at El Cap against El Cap. On Thursday, October 6th, girls tennis will be playing here at Monta Vista against Helix High School at 4 p.m. And boys... Water Polo will be playing against El Cajon Valley High School here at Monta Vista at 5.30 p.m. And at 7 p.m., the boys' varsity football team will be having a game at Mount Miguel High School. If you're in a club and want to be in this year's yearbook, you must be charted through ASB. Club pictures for A through K will be on Tuesday, October 4th, L through P will be Wednesday, October 5th, and Q through Z will be Thursday, October 6th. You must show up to room 311 at second lunch on your day for your group picture. If you'd rather take your own group photos for clubs, submissions as well as electronic rosters are due on October 6th. 
Please remember to bring an alphabetical list of all members and have all your officers' positions and names included. Are fines keeping you from graduation this year? Are you not sure where you stand with fines? Well, Monarchs, you can check Destiny to see fines, due dates, and more. Hello, folks. We are introducing a new section. It's called Tireless Teachers, and we would like to thank and appreciate all the teachers for all their hard work. And once a month, we will introduce one new teacher for all her hard work. Thank you. Good morning, Monarchs. This is our Tireless Teacher of the Week, Mr. Tinsel. How would you describe Mana Vista? Mana Vista is amazingly awesome. Amazing, awesome, nice. All right, and can you tell us a little bit more about what you do here, about what your program is? Sure, yeah. So uh, two years ago, I started the game design pathway, uh, CTE pathway, and it's uh, all about video games and designing games. Uh, it's a three-year pathway starting in 10th grade, super fun. We do 3D modeling, create print games. We learn how to program and code. Uh, and also learn Photoshop and Illustrator and all that good stuff. So there's a wide breadth of uh, knowledge that goes into game design and the three years uh, is used to uh, specialize in just about every aspect of game design. So a lot of fun, but you need to be a sophomore to uh, start the program. It's a cohort, 10th grade all the way to graduation. A lot right. of fun. Go check it out, Monarchs. Thank you again. Woo! Monarchs, do you got plans? The 12th Annual College and Career Fair is on Saturday, October 8th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Cuyamaca College. This event is for all students, so make sure you go and check it out. Monarchs, your last chance to get involved and make your high school memories last is riding on you obtaining an ASB card. They're only $25 in the finance office right now. ASB cards get you into sports games for free and discounts on other important Monarch events like homecoming, and speaking of memories, reservations for yearbooks can be made now. They are only $75 right now and $65 in your spirit pack, which you are unable to buy after homecoming. Prices will go up $90 by second semester after winter break, not $80. Sorry, Monarchs. Head down to Mrs. Wilson at the finance office to reserve one today. Staff with us for the decades on October 22nd from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $20 with an ASP card and $25 without. There will be tacos and pretzels. There will be ice cream. And a limited photo booth. You all know, homecoming tickets are on sale now, so make sure you dance through the decades through our Monarch Time Machine. Our homecoming game against El Cajon Valley will be on Friday, October 21st at 7 p.m. And our homecoming dance will be on October 27th on Saturday. Hello folks, how we doing out there? It's Coach Brown once again. Just to remind you, cell phones are not allowed in the hallways. Cell phones are not allowed outside of your classroom. If your teacher allows it in her classroom, that's her prerogative. But outside the classroom, you should not have your cell phone. Thank you. This week's Sammy's challenge is to spend time with your loved ones. Well, that's all we have for this week. And remember, stay classy, monarchs. Dancing through the decades and we time machine!